fish. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you how to teach your child to blend. A lot of you said you were having hard, a hard time doing that. So I have uh, Audrey, who is how old? Three, and Amashe, who is four here. Um, Amashe can blend in everything pretty well. Audrey is in the beginning of her, not in the, in the beginning of her blending um, journey. And so her mom has been working with her on the Teach Your Child to Read 100 Easy Lessons books. But she got to a, a point where Audrey just was not blending the words. And so we were trying to work that out. So what I have done here uh, is I have taken some of these, you know, little, um, I guess they are tangrams. And I've just put some different sounds on these tan grams just because it was the only thing laying around. You don't have to get anything special. Um, and before I did that, though, we are working on a little, ready, guys, tempo. Because if a child is having trouble blending, it's probably because they don't have all the pre-reading skills yet. And that is, shh, that is obvious because she's only, you know, three, three and a half. I did this pre-reading skill with her, and then I went into trying to blend so her brain can connect those two activities. You ready, guys? You want to sing your song? Ready? It's Pat. Ready and go. Pat the cat can sit on a mat. I must say do it. Ready and go. Oh, come on. Pat the cat. Oh, one beat. Ready, go. Pat the cat can sit on a. Yes. Go. Pat the cat can sit on a mat. Oh, mat. One beat. Ready? Pat the cat can sit on a mat. Very good. Don't put any more in your mouth. We're going to do the friends. Friends. I don't want you choking. Oh, we are all friends. I'm going to take this friend, and I'm going to take t friend, and I'm going to take a friend. Okay, so if you guys can see that, this, these are these sounds together. Audrey, look down here. When I point, you say the sound, okay? Are you ready? Don't say it until I touch it. Don't say it until I touch it. Oh, good, but you were a little late. Say it as soon as I touch it, okay? Oh, just love, just love, just love. Ready? Yes. Ah. Yes. Very good. Now I'm going to put the friends closer together, but not touching. Close, I want to be near my friends. Oh, don't touch each other. Ready? Wait till I touch it, wait. Oh, I didn't touch it yet. Ah. Yeah, a little bit slow. Come on, fast. Yes. Now, the friends are going to touch. Make those friends touch each other. There you go. Make the friends touch. Oh, yes. And now, oh, oh you don't want that one to touch? Okay. Only these two touch. And when these two touch, they don't stop. They go... Sa because they're next to each other. Say that. Sa. Aw, he's all by himself. That's okay. Let's try it again. When I touch it, you say it. Ready? Sa. Yes. Oh no! Don't put this here yet. Sa. Now let's make the t touch. Go ahead. Put that with it. Now let's say it all together. They're all touching, yay! We're all touching, whoop, whoop, all touching. We're all touching, whoop, whoop, all touching. Now they're all touching, get ready. Scoot in, Audrey. Come on, they're all touching, ready? Oh, you didn't say it when I touched it. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Oh, you're too slow. Oh, you got me. Good. Oh, you didn't see them together. They're, they're together. They're best friends. Come on. Ready? 
Sat. Say it faster. Sat. What? Good girl. Okay, what word is that down there? Uh -uh. No, what word is this together? Sat. But what if I put, hmm, what if I take out the S, the S, and put in Wow! But what if I move the t and put the S here? Past. That's right. Like, what were you doing in the past? What were you doing before now? Oh, well, he passed something that you can't go. That's correct. That would be spelled a little bit differently, but you're right. What if I took out the and put the mm here? Mm, mask. That's right, mask. All right, say goodbye. Bye. Time for your class.